Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about a microservice related question. The question is, does each microservice really need its own database? This question will be useful for your technical interview. The main benefit of microservices compared to monolithic is it improves the agility, meaning we can independently develop and deploy the microservices to the production. Each team can work on their own microservices and build it and deploy to the production to the customers. In order to achieve this independence, the microservices should be loosely coupled. Hence, each microservices should have its own data store. When other microservices need the data, it should go through the APIs. The microservice should not directly access the database of other services. It's not a good practice to directly access a data store which belongs to another microservice. So now the question is how to keep the data store private to the microservice. There are different techniques to keep the services database private. They are private tables per service, schema per service and database server per service. For example, we can create private tables per service or schema per service. For example, in a database, we can create some tables which are private to a particular service. Similarly, we can also do for schema. And the other option is to have a dedicated database server instance for a particular microservice. It depends on the data. Like if you have huge data and you want to really isolate it, then you can go for a dedicated database server instance for a particular microservice. One more point is we can also have a polyglot persistent architecture, meaning for a text search, we can use Elasticsearch. For a social graph, we can use Neo4j. And for other microservices, we can use relation database. We can use different varieties of database in our product. That's one of the advantage of using microservices. Another question is like, if two services willing to share the same data, how can we deal with this? In this case, if two services want to share the same data, when I want to change the schema, I have to be really careful. In that case, it will slow down my product development. I would recommend to use the API to access the data so that one service can own the responsibility for a data and it's independent and loosely coupled. So this is one of the option to share the data. If you have any other options, please let me know. So to conclude, does each microservice really need its own database? From my understanding, yes, it's good practice to have each microservice has its own database. Hope this information is useful. Thank you.